Good morning. Usually I don't say good morning because I know you could be watching this at any time. However, since this video is good morning stretches you can do in bed, I'm guessing most of you are watching it in the morning. So good morning YouTube. If you have been following along to my classes for a while, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these good morning stretches. Let's get on our mat. We are actually gonna start uh, possibly in bed if you're already there. Uh, if you have a mat and you prefer to get out of bed, let's go ahead and meet on our mat. I'm gonna do my mat, but bed is more than acceptable because these are all accessible from bed. So I'd like you to lay down. However, if you have a pillow, I'd like you to move it out of the way so your spine is flat. So spine is flat. First, just bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Bring some awareness into your body. See if you can make each breath a little bit bigger, a little bit fuller. And each exhale a little bit more complete. Now I'll really take a few rounds of these big, deep belly breaths. I want you to think of what you want to bring into the rest of your day. So if today is a rest day, maybe it's your day off of work, it's a weekend, a holiday. Maybe you want to bring in some fun, bring in some relaxation. Maybe you want to bring in some spontaneity. What do you want to welcome into your day? Repeat that to yourself every time you breathe in. Maybe I welcome creativity. I welcome relaxation, doing nothing. Now we're gonna focus on the exhale. So what do you not need today? So again, if it's a holiday a relaxation day, maybe you don't need stress, you don't need to-do lists. You don't need a rigid schedule. Repeat those on your exhales. Some examples, if today's a work day and you're just trying to start your day on the right foot, you have a long productive day ahead of you. Maybe you breathe in mental clarity. Maybe you breathe in motivation, alertness. Maybe you breathe out lack of productivity, distractions, expectations. Whatever you get done is exactly what you need to get done. Let's take a big good morning stretch. Arms overhead, toes point. First start by hugging just your right knee in towards your body, squeeze it away, void your rib cage. So knee towards your armpit, roll out that right ankle. Opposite direction. Then kind of guide your right knee over towards your left elbow, but you're not twisting all the way. You're just kind of drawing big circles with that right knee. So you can reach your left arm to the left if that helps. Just kind of drawing big circles, right knee around, towards the left shoulder, towards left knee, right. And we'll switch directions. Come towards right armpit, out and around, over the hip, to the left hip, to the left armpit. This time your right knee crosses over your center line, we'll go for that twist, nice and gentle. You can even put a pillow underneath your right knee, let it rest there. Right arm reach to the right, right ear melt down. Come back through center, send your right leg up. I'd say straight, but as straight as possible as right now. You can bring your hands behind your hamstring. If you're feeling already pretty stretched or pretty ready for it, reach up towards your calf, your ankle. I want you to pull that right leg back towards you, nice and gently though. So elbows kind of come out to the sides. If it's simply too much for you right now, you can bend your left knee. That's gonna give you more flexibility in your right leg. 
Breathe into the calf, the hamstring. You pull it a little bit more. Now we're all gonna bend that left knee. Plant your foot on your bed or on your mat. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, figure four. You can also hug your legs in towards you for a little deeper stretch. Maybe you rock side to side. Great. Release your left leg. Hug your right knee in towards your chest one more time. Then we're simply going to switch. So left knee in, right leg straight. I want your leg to avoid your rib cage. So left knee towards the left armpit. Roll out the left ankle. Opposite direction. And we're just going to draw circles. So that left knee is going to come towards the right armpit, towards the right hip, and then stack it back over the left hip towards the left armpit, towards the right armpit, towards the right hip, and back to the left. A few more times this direction. So this is targeting your inner glute. Let's switch directions. So drawing the knee away, stack it back over left hip, towards the right hip, right armpit, left armpit. One more time. Next time it's crossed over your body, left knee to your bed, mat, or even a pillow underneath your knee. Left arm reaches to the left, breathe into your left lung, nice and gentle. Slowly come back through center. Lift your left leg up as straight as possible, micro bend if you need, hands clasp behind your hamstring or maybe they slide up towards your calf. If it's simply too much, bend your right knee. Foot is on your bed or on the mat. Hug your left leg in towards you. You should feel a pretty good stretch through the calf, the hamstring. Send your breath into that tightness. Remember, breathing in, welcoming. What do you want out of your day? Breathing out anything that you don't have space for in the rest of your day. We're all going to bend the right knee, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, stay here or legs hug in towards your body. Drive your left knee away from you. Great. Go ahead and release that. Both feet on your bed or on your mat. Knees point up, arms by your side, nice and gentle bridge pose. So bring a tuck of the pelvis. Squeeze your glutes where your glutes meet your hamstrings and lift your hips up. You can even put a pillow or if you're on your mat, you can put a block or a bolster underneath your tailbone. Nice to support you. If you don't have any props, you can also use your hands. It's a little bit of a deeper back bend, but it's still a supported bridge. You could use your hands to support your low back, your pelvis. Then you can kind of relax your hamstrings a bit. Slowly lower, you can remove the pillow, the bolster, the block away. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then we'll bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. You can put two pillows underneath your knees on the sides or two bolsters. That will help if your hips don't feel super open just yet. Let the knees fall away from each other. This one's a little bit easier on your mat, but it should still be accessible in your bed. Try to press through the outer blades of your feet and see if you can lift your hips up just a little bit. So you're really activating your inner thighs. You can keep the pillows or the blocks underneath your outer thighs for a little bit of an assist. Kind of a butterfly bridge position. Nice to wake up those inner thighs. Three, two, one, hug your knees into your chest, rock up to a seat. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, stretch the left side of your neck. Slowly drop your chin towards your chest, bring your left ear to your left shoulder, stretch the right side of your neck. Chin back towards your chest, 
as slow as you need back and forth side to side. Next time you radiate ears towards your right shoulder, drop your head back. Rock your head over your shoulders, left ear towards left shoulder. And then you're drawing semicircles with the head dropping back. Again, as fast or as slow as it feels good. Come back through center. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, gentle twist to the right, left elbow, right knee, right hand or fingertips behind you, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Keep your left hand where it is, right arm wraps over, catching your left knee, chin to chest, round your upper back, pull your navel in towards your uh, tailbone. You can press the knees down away from each other to deepen the stretch in your upper back. Keep your elbows crossed, lift your arms to either eagle position. If that's not accessible just yet, you can either grab opposite elbows or just bring your forearms together. So either opposite elbows, forearms together, or left arm under right. Breathe into your upper back, little tuck of your chin. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. More space in the collarbones, drop the shoulders out from the ears. With each exhale, twisting a little more. Right hand stays on your left knee. Unwind your torso, left arm wraps over, catching your right knee. Chin to chest, round your upper back. Draw the navel back towards your tailbone. Keep the elbows crossed. Again, three options, eagle wrap, right arm under. Catch opposite shoulders or just bringing those forearms together, hands together. Either way, you're getting a nice stretch through the upper back. Try to lengthen through the crown of the head, sink your tailbone. Unwind that, hands onto your knees. Just kidding, we're gonna switch, so opposite shin in front, just to keep things even. Then, hands to your knees, few rounds seated cat cow. Inhale, puff up your chest, look up. Exhale, round your back, chin towards your chest. Inhale, sternum forward, shoulders back. Exhale, round. Three more. Keeping that nice big belly breath, last two. Last one. Come back through center, shoulders stacked over your hips. We're gonna end with a side stretch and then a forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Bring your left hand down either to your bed, your mat, a pillow or a block. Right arm reach for three. Lengthen right side, two, one. Back through center, right hand, same thing, down to mat, pillow, block, bed, whatever's there. Breathe into the left side for three, two, one. Inhale, back through center, reach your arms up. Exhale, crawl your hands forward. You can rest your forehead on your mat, a block, a pillow, or maybe even your comforter. Tailbone sinking, let the hips fall open. Slowly walk your hands back in towards you. Inhale, hug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, drop your shoulders down your spine. Close your eyes. Left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, or hands to heart center. Take a moment to kind of visualize yourself going through your day, how you want to act as you move through your tasks how you want to show up in the different roles that you need to today.
full breath in, breathing in whatever you need for success in your day. Full breath out, open your mouth, sigh. Gently open your eyes and have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope this day brings everything that you need, whether it's a day of rest, a day of productivity, or a day of fun. Namaste.